futures async can await it's a very interesting concept and it comes under asynchronous programming so let's see how to do it in flutter and dart so i've just created a dart file we are not going to do it in flutter so let's create a main main method first and we will just print the labels start of the function and end of the function right and in between this we will have our code all right so let's create another function let's name it func1 and inside this func we'll just uh, function we'll just initialize a variable num is equal to 0 and we will return this num right so the return type should be int all right and in between the start and end i'll just call this function and print this function the value which this function is returning right so let's run this and see what output we get so one so as soon as we executed immediately we got start zero and end so we are returning zero here so now let's assume before returning this number some function is happening some api calls or some function which which might uh, extend the time of this uh, function block let's replicate the situation with using a future delayed so this code will delay this statement for three seconds and when this code is big and when this code is delayed uh I want to change the value of this num. Num is equal to let's change it to one. Right. So I'll just explain quickly explain this function. So num num will be initialized zero here, and we have a future delayed function which delays this code alone. This code, this statement alone, not the entire function. This statement alone for three seconds. And when that three seconds is done, this then block is being executed, and whatever is inside this function is being executed. And after that, the number is being returned. So let's see the output for this. So you can see the output is still the same: start, zero, and end. The num didn't did not get executed uh, before it was returned, right? So, so you can see this: the code was execute exited three seconds later. So you can see it one more time. So this three statements is being printed first and after three seconds, the code is being exited. So what it means is when this statement, when this function was being executed, as soon as this statement was executed, it went and returned this number. It didn't, it did not wait for this block for this statement to execute. It did not wait. So using futures async and await, we will make this statement to wait till this code is being executed. So for that, what we'll have to do is we'll have to use a func use a keyword called await. So so from the keyword itself, we can understand that this statement will wait till this statement executes. This keyword will wait till this statement executes. Now to use this await, we need to make this entire function asynchronous. So for that, what we'll have we'll do is uh before opening this curly braces we'll just type async right so now we get an error here so when we make this code async what we are telling this this fun this function is what we are telling this function is this function is an asynchronous block and it will return value after some time it will not return it immediately so we can expect a delay in this function block so we are expecting a delay in this func1 so what we'll have to do is we'll have to convert this function into a future so for that what we'll do is we'll just wrap it with angular brackets and we'll just give future so we are returning a future of integer so we are telling this function block that this function block will we can expect a value integer from it but after some delay after some time all right so now let's see if what output we get so now we got a instance so the start was ex executed then we got an instance of future int we did not get integer we did not get the value of integer instead we got a future of uh, int so what happened is when this function was called immediately it's it's expecting a value immediately 
so we have to make this function one this statement to wait so to make this statement wait what we use we use this keyword called await and when we use this statement await we have to make this entire block asynchronous so we'll just add async now when we run this code and we see so the start is being executed after three seconds we are getting a value and then the code is getting ended so what value we get we did not get zero instead we got one so after three seconds this statement waited and then number was initialized after that num was returned and then end was printed so this is how asynchronous future and await works so i hope you understood uh, it was a very simple example and make sure to uh, watch the follow-up videos i will be explaining in detail and different concepts of future and await in the next coming videos so stay tuned and subscribe for more for, for more videos